Zanzibar, Tanzania, monkeys, tortoise, cows, and the Maasai tribe. Eb from Eb's Migrations. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Eb from Eb's Migrations. Several years ago, I decided to leave the U.S. and embark on a journey of living abroad. That journey has led me to some beautiful places around the world. I share my journey to inspire you to take that leap of faith follow your passion, and live your best life. There's no better time than the present. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. So I flew in to Dar es Salaam, the capital of Tanzania from Johannesburg, South Africa. I had a layover in Kenya, um, pretty cool airport because they have this like biometric that scans your body, but that's sidebar. Just keep in mind that this footage is from 2019 when I went, so I had a completely different camera and technology was different, so just bear with it. But I stayed in Dar es Salaam one night at an Airbnb and then I took a ferry over to Zanzibar which will bring you to Stone Town. So it'll bring you close to the center of Stone Town. And from Stone Town, I walked, not from Stone Town, because I stayed in Stone Town, but from where the ferry was, I walked over to my hostel that I stayed at. And I was just about a 10 to 15 minute walk straight up. And it's pretty safe to walk around. At least that's the feeling that I have. Stone Town should be called Spice Town because the spices are everything. Like there is even a spice market. It is so intoxicating, the aromas when it hits your nose. Ah, it's even the way that they spice food. Ah, it's amazing and it's from that fusion just of different countries that have been and occupied in, um, in Zanzibar and Tanzania um, as a whole. So the spices are just next level and the seafood is fresh. It's just a uh, food haven for me. I really enjoyed the food there. Another thing that stood out were the doors. A local was telling me that you can tell like a person's status by how ordained their doors are. So a more elaborate, beautiful door represents someone of like a certain status. And you can walk around and see Freddie Mercury's home where he lived when he was a child. Started teaching me just about the history of Zanzibar and just how it differs from Tanzania how they used to be separate and they even had their own flag and he also mentioned that his cousin was a tour guide now right that sounds like a setup <laughs> and I highly encourage you I say this in all my videos use your discernment and trust your intuition I'm and people are just generous like that in that region of um, to take me to Jozani forest that's where the red monkeys are and they're their only species like this and they're found only in Zanzibar so um, we went there and then he mentioned that there was a beach nearby called Paje Beach. So I took that day trip. I had organized a day, that day trip for myself. And prior to that, I asked him if he can show me like what Zanzibar looked like before people started to come in and occupy. And he took me to where the locals live and like the original Zanzibar and it was cool to see so um they were like my cousins it really felt like family both of them had the same name too so now when you are at Jozani Forest there are signs around that say do not feed the monkeys right and um <laughs> so the person that I was with being that he's a local he was like it's fine you can like feed it a banana so you can see me here going against the rules and like feeding the monkey the banana and, um <laughs> and once they take you through the forest they they'll pile you into a van and take you to where the mangroves are and through there you just walk around and there's just a ton of mangroves so that was nice um and after that we went to Pajay beach and that's where we were hanging out with some of his friends which were members of the Maasai tribe and they were just telling me that they come certain times out of the year to sell their crafts that they make them and I just walked along the beach and there were cows like walking in a single file line line and anytime one would step out of line the other ones would move it back into line I just found that to be like so freaking cool and I followed them all the way down until I realized I was following a line of cows <laughs> so from there we also went around to see how the locals live near Paje I really enjoy Paje more than I did the beach in Stone Town just because it's less crowded there are a lot of people especially for the sunsets in Stone Town like get there early for that beach because it gets packed but it's a beautiful sunset it just gets packed 
But once the sun goes down, stay around for the yeah, night yeah. market. Okay. This it one, is I have a lot ready of fun. Fruit. Ready fruit, you hang the tree like a ball, the same jack fruit like potato. This is the cassava root manioca, you're calling muhogo. This is a sweet potato, you're calling kiazi. And this one, I have a squiddy or calamari. But this one, I have a different kind of fish. Tuna fish, paracuda fish, mali fish, and this is a mahi mahi fish. This is a scala, it's a shellfish, mushed in the sea like this one. And this is a mussel, it's a small shell. This is a lamb. Me. <laughs> and this one, yeah, and this is a liver cow, and this is a chicken regular, duck tikka. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. And as well, you can take a tour of Stone Town. There are, uh, there's a museum about just the slavery that occurred there as well, and then it'll show you about um, Old Fort. And Old Fort is also in the middle of town. If you get a tour guide, they will show you all these landmarks throughout Stone Town. So Old Fort is where they would use to go underground to send the slaves at this time to take them to Prison Island and different parts of wherever they would go. Prison Island is a separate island that you can also do a day trip. I did. It's um, a ferry ride, maybe like 30 minutes, if that even if even that long. And it's quite a juxtaposition because on one side you see like this beautiful architectured stone building and it's right near beautiful green and blue water but then on the other side you know the history of what this place was and the driver was saying that it wasn't a prison but he said it was like a place where they would house individuals who were sick and I said, well, did these individuals say they wanted to go here or were they told and taken here? And he was like, they were not. Basically, they didn't go on their own free will. I'm like, okay, then I can understand why they would be calling it a prison. So just that juxtaposition of knowing like the dark and then the light of what it is now. But the highlight was the huge tortoise. Like there were tortoise that you can just like go feed and see them from when they start before they even, like you actually can see them in their egg status before they hatch and just see the development of how they become this ginormous tortoise that you see. And I had to love, them, love on, I had to love up on them, so. Thank you. I appreciate you. If you made it to the end, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.